Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends. Well, to start off with our section of side quests, we're going to be going to the police station, as you see right here. So, without further ado, let's get going to the police station. Well, actually, we're kind of already there. Anyway, uh... But yeah, as, if you hadn't noticed earlier in the game, the police in this town are pretty much inept. Yeah, yeah inept is a good word. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, your rope wasn't exactly very long to begin with. I mean, yeah, well, once we get to this first side quest, once he stops talking, yeah. Never know when we might need your help again, because you guys are idiots. Anyway. Mm, little kid with a yellow face sounds like a serve bot to me. That's not a good sign. dropped three things and we'd all better run or something and you're not out there investigating it right now it, it, it's a threat sir it that's what it means it's a threat it, it should be more than a hunch you should be out there searching right uh. see and you wonder why they couldn't handle the pirates they can't even handle you know they can't even comprehend the idea that there's a threat to the city boy I mean, wow, I'd hate to live on this island. The, the police, I mean, they give whole new meaning to the word inept. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing with the whole sliding around thing, I now have the dash boots, or jet skates. I've talked about them in a couple of videos before. You probably already know the part, so I'm not going to go over it. But yeah, I can move faster now. This. I mean, it's not that much faster. Ah! It's a bomb! Oh, that's not a good sign. Yeah, I could go around talking to people, or I could rely on the fact that the bombs always follow a basic principle of where they're located. One is always next to a green building, and come on, dis disarm the bomb, Mega Man. And the other one is always on top of a building. Usually they're on opposite sides of the town from each other, but since I can... Nope! This time it's on this side of town, oddly enough. Go figure. Well, anyway. Yeah! And then, yay, we've disarmed the bombs. But, well, yeah, it's, and that's pretty much all there is to this side quest. And if you take too long, the bombs will blow up and you'll end up having to rebuild downtown again. But, you know, I was lucky enough that they were really close together, and even then, it's, like I said, I know the secret to finding them. I wonder if we can jump on top of the library. Well, no, actually, we've got another side quest we need to do, because the cops are still inept. So I'd better not, you know, take too much time, waste, or waste too much time. Let's try and keep the video short and concise instead of all the split videos I've been doing so far. So then, to the police station. Because... Uh, first, we need to tell the chief we did a good job, and second of all, we need to talk to him again and get the other thing that they want us to do. Woo! Ow, oh, damn it. <laughs> well, so much for that being all exciting and whatnot. But yeah, the things that you got for finding those two bombs are... I can't remember if they individually each make a special weapon or if together they make a special weapon, but yeah. They're really not all that interesting. Yes, because God only knows who couldn't, well, I don't know, he doesn't look like he's the kind of person that could climb up to the top of a building quickly. Anyway. Okay, you need to leave the room first and then walk back in before he tells us the next job he wants us to do. Bother. It's just time consuming. Anyway, let's talk to him again. This one actually is the kind of thing that, you know, you can see them like, oh, whatever, we're police, this is too important for us. Not that they seem to do anything. That's a lot of money, and that, yeah, that poor guy. Okay, so we're looking for a guy in the lobby. He should probably look very upset or frustrated. Our chances are, since there's only so many generic town character models, 
Probably not. Anyway, this is the guy we're supposed to talk to. He doesn't look particularly frustrated to me. Or flustered, as his name implies. Well, let's go talk to the electronics shop and see if they know what happened to this bag. Or at the very least, if they can tell us where he went next. Or whatever. I don't know, yeah, this is a little detective mini-game. We get to go and talk to people in order to find this guy's money. So that we can give it back to him. Because we're good citizens. Actually, we're not even really citizens of the island. We're just... We're, we're good We're good Samaritans. There we go, that's a good word. I like Samaritan. It's a good word. Anyway, onward to the electronics shop. Whee! And yes, you can still get run over while you're doing this, and it will still hurt. Probably less so since I now have armor that reduces damage by one-fourth, but it's, it's still getting hit by a car. That still has got to hurt. Anyway. Yeah, why am I not doing my little jet skate thing in here? I could still do it in here. Anyway, to the Staple Electronics Store. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I should have saved that till after thing. Till afterwards, it would have been more topical. Sucks for you, huh, guy? Oh, okay, true. He... Oh, something to eat, huh? Well, let's see, that would probably mean one of the bakeries. Hmm. See, the bakery that's small, it doesn't look like it's an unprofessional looking, or the one that looks like it's very big and professional looking. How about this one? Okay. Well, researching things means the library. To the library! Yeah, this, this side quest doesn't really get all that interesting. It's just basically, you know, go talk to this person, go talk to that person, go talk to another person, and then get the money and go talk to that guy again. Woohoo. Anyway, to the library. Because libraries are fun. Actually, they are very fun. Very useful, too. Anyway. Talk to the librarian with her giant Coke bottle glasses and giant eyes. Hmm. Something to drink, huh? Well, that's a, that means he was near a soda machine, but... Hmm. Oh, who are we going to talk to? They're like proprietors of soda machines. Well, who could we talk to that would know... Well, I guess if we find someone near the soda machine that conveniently happens to be pacing back and forth in front of it, like this little girl, I'm guessing we should talk to her. What do you think? It, talk to you. <laughs> hmm. No, it's first figure out who your suspects are. Well, kick you, little girl. You do not tell Mega Man how to do his job. He is Mega Man. He is awesome. Anyway, rather than wasting time talking to various people trying to figure out who it is, we'll talk to the guy that actually took the, that, you know, found the bag and, well, I guess really technically kind of took the money. Old guy really pissed him off, huh? He sounds like Motive. And he's also a very angry youth. That sounds like Motive, too. Hmm, glad he didn't know it was in the bag, huh? That's probably would have run off with it for himself. Otherwise, that would have involved some kind of car chase or something, and I don't know if we were up to a car chase. I mean, you you can't shoot while doing the little dash thingy. Anyway, so we found the bag of money. Oh God, ow! Like I said, you can still get hit by cars. Ow! That kind of hurt. <laughs> Actually, no kind of about it. It was being hit by a car. It hurt like hell. Okay. Back to the police station! Okay, why do I keep, like, stopping in the middle of dashing? I'm holding down the damn button. Whatever. Going up the hill. Wah! And we're here, police station. 
Or we can now go talk to the inspector. <coughs> Sorry about that. As I was saying, talk to the inspector and get rewarded for a job well done. Yes, we found it. And the man who could barely see on camera there. <laughs> yeah, she probably wouldn't be too happy if you lost all the money for your house. Just dropped it in the middle of the street. Cool, money! Yeah, well, no, no, we need money. No, don't don't listen to him, listen to me, we need money. Okay, we got an arm supporter, I guess that works too. That's actually a part for a special weapon, I don't know which one though. But yeah, it's cool, we, we can use it. We probably won't use a special weapon, but we can use at least use the arm supporter and build a weapon. Anyway, folks... This has been the first in, well, not many, but at least a couple of videos of side quests. Tune in next time for more side quests. Yay! Until then, later, folks.